kanina ay napakinggan natin ang advanced lesson para sa quarter 2, week 7 of Mathematics 9, Clade Learning Module. Ngayon naman ay dadako tayo sa advanced lesson para sa quarter 2, week 7 of Mathematics 10, Clade Learning Module. Ang susunod nating speaker ay graduate ng BS Ed Mathematics sa St. Joseph's College, Quezon City, Noong 2006, meron na siyang unit sa masteral na kinuha niya sa National Teachers College. Siya ay nagturo ng isang taon sa private school sa St. Thomas More Academy, Cavite. Nagtrabaho din siya as contractual in corporate field as administrative assistant in Metrobank and Globe Teleco Telecom. Sa kasalukuyan, siya ay isang grade 10 teacher sa Eris. Siya ay sampung taon nang nagtuturo. Noong first grading, siya ay contributor as writer ng played materials. Kasalukuyan din namin siyang grade year level chair sa grade 10 sa Eris. Siya rin ang aming faculty club auditor. Batang manduno, halina at samahan si Mrs. Emily A. Labang ng Aries upang mag-advance lesson sa grade 10 mathematics para sa quarter 2, week 7, played learning modules. Ang kanyang topic ay distance formula and coordinate proof. Thank you very much for that introduction, Ma'am L.D. Carloy. Matbuhay, mga batang mandalenyo. Gayun din sa ating mga home learning partners na walang sawang sumusuporta sa kanilang mga anak upang patuloy na matuto. Bago ko simula ng ating quarter 2 week 7 lesson, allow me to greet and acknowledge our education program supervisor in math, Sir Resti Rodelas, our principal in Eulogia Rodriguez Integrated School, Sir Romeo Bandal, our department head in mathematics, Ma'am Cindy Adelino, and of course, my fellow teachers in math in Aries. Of course, hello and shout out to my grade 10 students. Kamusta naman kayo dyan? Natapos na ang ating week 6 le review lesson. And I believe na malalap kayong natutunan for the past weeks. Kaya naman, sama-sama tayong mag-move on to this week's advanced review for quarter 2 week 7 lesson in the series of online academic reviews of mathematics in clade learning modules for grade 10. Tara, halina't mat-aral! Let us now proceed to the second part of our discussion. So many geometric properties can be proven by using a coordinate plane. Some actually leads us to that what we so-called as coordinate proof. So when we say coordinate proof, these are proof or proofs that uses coordinate geometry and algebra. So, in order for us to prove some geometric properties using the methods of coordinate geometry, we can consider the following guidelines. First, use the origin as vertex or center of a figure. Second, is place at least one side of a polygon on an axis. Third, if possible, keep the figure within the first quadrant. And lastly, use coordinates that make computation simple and easy. Let's have an example. Prove that diagonals of rectangle ABCD are congruent using the methods of coordinate geometry. So, ano ba yung sinasabing diagonals? Diagonals are straight line connecting the opposite corners of a polygon through its vertex. Let's illustration. So we have the given rectangle ABCD with diagonals AC and BD. And we are going to prove that AC is congruent to BD. So according to the guidelines that we have a while ago, our first step could be placing rectangle ABCD on a coordinate plane. So let us draw or place our rectangle. So let's label the vertices of the rectangle as A, B, C, D. 
Connecting the opposite corners or the opposite vertices of the rectangle, we will form the diagonal. So we have diagonal AC and diagonal BD. Our second step is to label the coordinates. So for vertex A, we have the coordinates here 0 since uh, it is located at the origin. So which has coordinates uh, 0, 0. For B, it has the coordinates 0, B since the vertex lies on the y-axis, the vertical line that you can see. And vertex C has the coordinates A, B. While vertex D has the coordinates a, 0, since the vertex lies on the x-axis. Our solution could be, for the third step, rather, find the distance between AC. So A has the coordinates 0, 0, and C has the coordinates AB. So let us label our coordinates as x sub 1, y sub 1. So in this case, we will consider point A as our first point and point C as our second point. So A is x sub 2 and B is y sub 2. Using the distance formula, so we have distance formula is equal to the square root of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Substituting the given values, we have d is equal to the square root of a minus 0 squared plus b minus 0 squared. So if we're going to simplify, we have the distance that is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So in terms of a and b, okay, this is the distance, of, uh, distance between a and c. What about the distance between B and D? So again, let us label our coordinates. For point B, we have 0 as x sub 1, B as y sub 1. For point D, we have A as x sub 2 and 0 as y sub 2. Again, using the distance formula, substitute the given values. So we have D is equal to the square root of x sub 2 is a minus 0 squared plus y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1 is b. So therefore, we have 0 minus b squared. Simplifying, we have the distance or d is equal to the square root of a squared plus the square of negative b. And as we all know, if we square a negative uh, number or expression, then that will give us a result of positive. Therefore, we have distance is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So in this solution, what do you notice with the distance between AC and the distance between BD? Tama. So they are exactly the same. They are equal. So since AC is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, and BD is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared, then we can say that AC is equal to BD by substitution. So therefore, segment AC or diagonal AC is congruent to diagonal BD. So the diagonals of rectangle ABCD are congruent. Next example. Find the coordinates of points T and M in parallelogram math and show that the opposite sides are congruent. The task is to find the coordinates of points T and M. So given in this illustration are the coordinates of point A, so which is 2, 4, and point H, which is 8, 0. Kunin muna natin ang coordinates ng point M since it, since it is simply located at the origin. So, the coordinates of point M is 0, 0. Now, what about point T? 
So, for the meantime, let us represent the coordinates of point T as A, B. So, we're going to solve one of these coordinates later on. So, by observation, since given sa point A, okay, ang vertical distance niya from the uh, x-axis, which is 4, then we can also say that the vertical distance of point B, which is uh, point T rather, which is B, can also be equal to 4. Okay? Since MATH is a parallelogram. Since math is a parallelogram, or since the quadrilateral math is a parallelogram, by definition, AT is parallel to MH, and side AM is parallel to TH. Kung matatandaan natin, ang ilan sa mga properties ng parallelogram, isa na dito ang opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So therefore, AM is equal to TH, and AT is equal to MH, or side AM is equal to side TH and side AT is equal to side MH. Yan. To solve for A, so we will apply the distance formula. So we know that the horizontal distance of point M, okay, point M to point H is equal to A. So, that is given as the x-coordinate of H. So, anong sinasabi ng information na ito? Sinasabi natin kanina, opposite sides are uh, equal sa parallelogram, then, ibig sabihin, side AT is equal, also equal to A. So, we are going to use this information in order for us to solve for the value of A. Let's have our solution. So, AT is equal to the uh, square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, we are using the distance formula. So, sabi natin kanina, AT or the distance of AT is also equal to A. Equals, so substitute natin yung ating mga values. In this case, we let A as our X sub 2. Malitan natin ang color. So as our X sub 2 and uh, 2 as our X sub 1 and then B which is equal to 4, will serve as our y sub 2. And 4 in uh, point A will serve as our y sub 1. Okay? So, by substitution, x sub 2 is A minus x sub 1 is 2. And then square it plus y sub 2 is 4 minus y sub 1 is 4, and then square. So we have 8 is equal to the square root of a minus 2 squared. So wala na yung 4 minus 4 squared because this is already equal to 0. Now, if you can still remember your topic in radicals, okay, Para ma-simplify natin yung both sides of the equation, uh, pwede natin tanggalin yung radical sign dito. So, that is by squaring both sides of the equation. Okay? So, that we can remove this one. So, we now have 8 squared. So, that is equal to 64 equals so we have a minus 2 squared okay next we have 64 that is equal to 
the square of a minus 2 is a squared minus 4a plus 4. So, i-combine natin yung terms on uh, one side of the equation. So, we have a squared minus 4a, 64. If we're going to trans, uh, for this, transfer this on the other side of the equation, that will become negative 64. Okay? And then, add it to positive 4. That will give us negative 60. That is why we have 0 equals a squared minus 4a minus 60. And by symmetry or uh, symmetry property of equality, we have a squared minus 4a minus 60 is equal to 0. So to solve for a, we can factor this out. So that gives us a factor of a minus 10 times a plus 6 equals 0. So solve for a, equate both factors to 0. That will give us a equals 10 and a equals negative 6. Now, alin dyan sa dalawa yung magiging value ng ating a? Since as you can see, point T is uh, located in the first quadrant, so ibig sabihin ang coordinates ng point na ito ay parehong positive. So therefore, we will take A which is equal to positive 10. So therefore, our A is equal to 10. So now, we were able to complete all the coordinates of points T and M. Let us proceed to the next, next task. Okay, let us now show that the opposite sides of parallelogram math are congruent. So first, let's show that the first pair of opposite sides of parallelogram math are congruent. Uh, those are side AT and side MH. So, in this case, kanina, uh, our side point AT rather has the coordinates 2, 4 and T has the coordinates 10, 4. So, by using the distance formula, alam ko, kayang kaya nyo nang isolve to. So, we have point A, X sub 1 is 2, Y sub 1 is 4, x sub 2 is 10, and y sub 2 is 4. So, as you notice, lagi natin nilalagay ng label yung ating mga points para hindi tayo malito kung saan natin siya dapat ilagay or isubstitute sa ating formula. So, distance is equal to the square root of 10 minus 2 squared plus y sub 2 is 4 minus 4 squared. That gives us Distance is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 0 squared. So, in this case, 0 squared is already 0. Kaya, we will be left with distance is equal to the square root of 64. And as we all know, 64 uh, has an ex exact root. So, therefore, we have distance is equal to 8, which means that is also equal to the Distance or length of side AT. What about uh, side MH? So point M has the coordinates 0, 0 and H has the coordinates 8, 0. So again, you can label your points. So substitute to the formula, distance is equal to the square root of 8 minus 0 squared plus 0 minus 0 squared. So that gives us the distance is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 0 squared. Or simply, that is equal to the square root of 64. So D is equal to 8, which is also the measure or the length of side MH. So what can we conclude about the given distances? So, since side AT is equal to 8 and side MH is equal to 8, then by substitution, 
So, side AT is congruent to side MH. So, na pakita na natin na yung first pair of opposite sides sa parallelogram math are congruent. What about uh, the other So, we're going to show that side AM is congruent to side TH. So, this is the other pair of opposite sides of the parallelogram mat. So, using the distance formula, we're going to use the coordinates of so point A and M. So, for point A, we have uh, X sub 1 is 2, Y sub 1 is 4, X sub 2 is 0, and Y sub 2 is 0. So, by substitution... We have the distance is equal to the square root of 20. Or, by simplifying, that is 2 square root of 5 or 4.47 in decimals. So, that is side AM. What about side TH? So, using the coordinates of point T and H, we have X sub 1 is 10, Y sub 1 is 4, X sub 2 is 8, and Y sub 2 is 0. By substitution, again, the distance of t to h is equal to the square root of 20 or 2 square root of 5 or 4.47. So that is equal to side th. So what can we conclude about this um, length or measures? Since side am is 2 square root of 5 and side th is equal to 2 square root of 5, then by substitution, we can say that side am is congruent to side th. So that is by using the distance formula. So naipakita na natin that the pair of opposite sides of uh, parallelogram math are congruent. Ayan, maraming salamat sa pakikinig.